Welcome back to the homestead. Today we're going to talk about solar power. My wife and I have lived 13 years plus in this log cabin right here, off grid. Off grid basically means no public utilities, in case you were wondering. And we've had no solar power, wind turbines, or any of the sort for 13 plus years. A couple of years ago, we started this adventure on adding solar power to the homestead. And I'm gonna walk you through the process right now and what we learned and what's working right now and give you some buyer bewares. And just to be clear, for 13 years, we've lived off this generator. Not that particular generator, but we've lived off a generator for 13 years. We've called it power on demand. So when we need power, we basically just turn it on for laptops and little dinky stuff that we use around here. We've learned how to not use electricity, you know, really good for all these years. All right, so we're just going to get right into the buyer beware part. Not all solar companies are created equal. A couple of years ago, we got contacted by this solar company right here. And basically, you know, they were like, man, you don't like solar power, solar power so good. And I was like, yeah, I don't really see the return on investment. And they were like, look, well, we're going to make you a solar believer. And they sent out this whole unit here. I built this whole building. They sent the solar panels. I put the solar panels up. I wired everything that they said to do, and it never worked from day one, pretty much. <laughs> so that caused us a lot of problems, if you could imagine having a whole deep freeze here full of all of our sustenance, our meat. Big problem. So I basically unplugged the whole system. I talked to the company, and they basically said, we've sent you $10,000 worth of stuff, and we're washing our hands of you. Good luck. <laughs> That's what happened. So I basically shut up about it. I, I disconnected this stuff and moved on. Another company reached out to us just recently in the last couple months. And they said, hey man, we're, we, we wanna work with you on the solar power stuff. And I said, look, I had a bad experience with the last company. You know, I don't know if I'm really a believer in the stuff. I said, the only way I'm gonna work with you is if you get our main stuff running, you know, what we've put together already. And if you get that running, I'll talk about the actual system you know that they wanted me to talk about okay so this is full disclosure and buyer beware a dc combiner box a 48 volt solar inverter charger three smart lithium iron phosphate 48 volt 50 amp hour batteries and then they hung out on the emails and walked me through the whole process and we've had the system up and running now for almost 30 days. Solar panels we already had, but they weren't connected up properly. So I had to get on with those guys, talk to them about the setup, and they actually got me hooked up properly with the solar panels. So these three solar panels are hooked together, these three solar panels are hooked together, and these three solar panels are hooked together. Okay, this is the part where I'm gonna walk you guys through how I have it all. Come on over. First up, my solar panel wires. Positive and negative from the first three, positive and negative from the second three, positive and negative from the third three. There's nine panels up there. Those all come down. I put in my little <laughs> hillbilly transfer pipe here. <laughs> oh, don't judge. And then those three wires, right? I, ta I tape those. And they come into the DC combiner box. Now this DC combiner box is perfect for both on and off grid solar systems. It has a five to one connection feature combining up to five solar panel inputs into one. It's easy to install and built in standard DIN rail. Built-in circuit breaker for surge protection and lightning protection device. One-year warranty on material and workmanship. All my positive lines are coming into the top of these circuit breakers. My negative lines are going into this negative bus bar. My negative line comes off that bus bar. My positive comes off of here, goes out, and into the 48-volt solar inverter charger. The 48-volt. 3500 watt solar inverter charger is an all-in-one combination of inverter solar charger and battery charger the ups system powerful bypass function with uninterrupted power supply function 
four user configurable models for different system configurations and perfect for remote power applications where grid power is not. See we have 51 volts stored. We have a 120 volt system, that's what we go for. That's the solar power right there, it means that it's pulling in solar charging power right here, putting it into the batteries and using it to power anything that we're powering right now. Now the batteries. Smart lithium ion phosphate batteries. 48 volt, 50 amp hour batteries. Modular design is easily to scale to meet a range of configurations. More than 4,500 life cycles. That means they can charge and discharge 4,500 times. Low heat generation and high efficiency during high power transmission. And they also have a built-in self-heating uh, system that keeps the batteries charging even when it's super cold. So if you had these on a, a shed outside or something, maybe you didn't have it super insulated, they've actually took that into account because you're off-grid and they uh, heat up the battery so they can optimize the charging and holding capacities. So that's the solar system powering our 11 acre homestead. <laughs> but like I said, we really don't use a lot of power. But I'll show you what we got Stacy here inside. Now remember I told you guys earlier that we, we tried to do this before and we got like a little bitty refrigerator. I got like this little bitty, it was like a little bitty apartment refrigerator. like. It's not very big at all. <laughs> so they actually sized this system up to run a deep freeze and a refrigerator, no problem, all the time. And you know, whatever else we're running, like some LED lights or um, the, the TV next door, the modem so I can upload videos and all that stuff, right? So I got her a 28 or 21 cubic freezer and refrigerator has been watching the videos. I mean, we haven't had any sun around here. This is probably the first sun I've seen in a good couple of weeks. That's why my eyes are squinting so much. <laughs> so with the new system going and, uh, you know, running the refrigerator all through the night with no sun, we have had to power the generator. Now, the generator that I showed you still powers those batteries up. I can, I have it plugged in and I ran a line. I'm going to show you guys that on a different video, but I'll show you how you can I'll run a line to your main fuse box. So if you guys lose power, it could save your life, especially in the winter time, you could run your heater. I'll do that on a video coming up. Leave a comment down below if you want to see that video. But uh, I got that, that generator out there is to charge the batteries when the sun is not keeping up with it. And so I've had to turn that on a couple times, but so far, that's why I waited to post the video. Plus I was waiting for a little sunshine so you could hear this thing operating. Uh, everything is working peachy king, okay? So there you go. All right, so the name of that company is Renogy. R-E-N-O-G-Y. I'm gonna leave all the stuff down there for this system, okay? This is the, the stupid easy system that anybody could install. I did it. <laughs> And it's inexpensive, you know, probably between six to eight thousand dollars. And you guys can have your freezer and your refrigerator and your lights and everything like that running on your off grid place. Okay. Um, if you add more batteries to it, then you can obviously have, you know, more stuff running. If you have to have more power, then you have to reconfigure and figure that out too. They're easy to talk to over there as well. I, one thing too, full disclosure, this is not an affiliate link. I do not make a dime if you guys go buy this stuff. 
So there's no affiliate link here. I'm not swayed on my opinion. I told the guys right up front, I'm gonna use your stuff and I'm gonna tell you just how it is. I'm gonna tell the folks that watch our channel just how it is. And he appreciated that uh, and just wanted to make sure that I had all the information and I was doing everything right. And so they are under the full understanding. I do not make a dime if you guys buy this stuff, but they're gonna send it to me. I'm gonna test it out, give them feedback and then let you guys know what I'm finding out along the way. There's the farmer's watch dogs. Yeah! Tell him, Denny! Tell him, Denny! Tell him, Denny! <laughs> Alright guys, so we got solar power, we got the panels hooked up, it's a stupid easy system that anybody can do. I'll leave all the information down in the description below, uh, or you can check out R-E-N-O-G-Y on Amazon or wherever you buy your solar power stuff. Did you guys know that in the 16, 17, and 1800s, chocolate was consumed as a beverage? There was no such thing as a chocolate candy bar. Well, we're bringing chocolate tea back to the 21st century because it's loaded with antioxidants our body loves and it's a great source of magnesium that's wonderful for bone and heart health. It's a great addition to your coffee machine or your French press or just along with your favorite sweetener. You can find it at offgridwithdougandstacy.com along with our brand new tea infuser, simple to use for easy steeping. Cheers! Thank you.